boundaries and relationships in business. Okay, so this week I brought up this topic because this seems to be something really, really big and something that's not easy for a lot of women. Women have a hard time saying no at times. They have a hard time setting limits with people, speaking their minds. And this is something I'm really passionate about because without boundaries, there's no confidence and confidence is one of the biggest pieces that you need to have to have um, a successful business because if you're not confident if you don't believe in yourself no one else is gonna believe in you so that's why boundaries are so 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 important and you really need to start them from day one and let me just get this straight if you haven't already set a lot of boundaries in your business and you've had your business for a while don't panic because they are something that you can learn and that is why I do what I do because I help clients who need help with boundaries, who need help with building their confidence, who need help with um, you know, getting in the right mindset to do all this stuff. So I'm just going to share with you a quick story. Um, I think I shared this in my Wednesday Wisdom Today but Back when I started my psychotherapy business, which was the first business I had, I had many, many people coming to me, sort of like crawling out of the woodwork, asking me to pick my brain and figure out, they wanted to know like how I started my private therapy practice. And you know, I wanted to help everyone. So I would have coffee dates with people, I'd have phone dates with people. And again, these weren't people that were like, close friends of mine, like maybe they were a friend of a friend or they were, um, say like my mom's friend's daughter or mom's friend's son, something like that. So these were just random people coming out of nowhere, wanting to know how I started my private therapy practice. And again, I would, you know, give these people my time. And what I found was by like month, I don't know, month four or so, I was completely burned out because I was giving all of this time and energy to these other people that I barely even knew who probably didn't really, it's not that they didn't care about me, but they just wanted something that I had, so that's why they wanted to talk to me. Um, and I realized like this is not serving me, like this is not good for my business, this is not even good for my clients because if I'm feeling burned out from helping all these other people, I'm not gonna show up 110% for my clients who are paying me. So luckily again, like having that first business was really such a sort of like practice test for me for this business that I have now. Like I was able to make all of those mistakes back then which was incredible because we only learn through making mistakes and through, you know, disappointments and letdowns and things like that. So thank God I made all those mistakes back then because I knew early on if I'm going to be a successful business owner, I've got to set boundaries. So what I started to do was when people would come to me and say, hey, I want to know how you, you know, started your therapy practice. Let's get coffee or this or that. I'd say, you know what, I do private practice coaching and I'd love to show you all the steps that I took to be able to open this business. Um, I'd love to show you, you know, the whole year of research that I did and all of this information that I collected. Um, and if you're interested in hearing, I'd love to send you um, my packages and you can decide how you wanna move forward. And that's it. So then, you know, if this person really, really wanted this knowledge, they were going to hire me and pay for this knowledge because I had spent countless hours and, you know, sleepless nights of doing all of this research and all of this work to build this business. And it's not fair to just give it away for free. Um, you know, I'm really big in here on giving a lot of free information out, but you can't give it all away, okay? So I can't meet individually with the 1200 and something of you that are in here. I can give, you know, really broad knowledge, really broad ideas out, but in order for you to really, really benefit from the things that I share, you've got to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, right? That's what coaching is all about. So I know personally, you know, I've seen a lot of coaches out there um, who have incredible, incredible free knowledge that they give out. They do videos, they do, you know, emails, and I get so much from it. However, because I have wanted to really grow my business, I know that in order to really, really get their help, 
I have to work with them one-on-one -on -one or in some type of group capacity or membership group capacity. So that is why along the way I've decided to hire a lot of these people because I love what they give away for free. I really believe in the work that they do and I'm so, so super, super, super confident. That doesn't even make, that's not even like a word, but I'm super confident that if I give them my money and hire them that they will personally help me in my business. So, oh, Andy said I could use some coaching. Do you have any openings? Of course I do. Send me an email, Andrea, um, and I will tell you how I can help. So, yeah, so this week, again, it's all about setting boundaries. So, again, you know, I learned that big time in my first business and learned through making mistakes and feeling super burned out by helping everyone so in this business that I have, my mindset and confidence coaching business, luckily it's been so much easier for me because I really paved the way with the first business. So now, you know, for me to set boundaries, it's actually pretty simple. Um, one big way that I have to personally set boundaries um, is through Facebook Messenger. So I, I mean, literally my messenger is flooded and flooded with messages. And there's no way possible that I can get back to all of them. I have tons and tons of people who message me and pick my brain and ask questions and ask if they can post things in the group or ask for me to promote things for them. And honestly, you know, I can maybe answer a few here and there, but there are so many, it would be completely impossible. Like that could be my full-time job is just answering my Facebook messages. So I know that if someone really wants to work with me, or someone really wants to somehow get to me that they will send me a personal email and I check my emails and I email every single person back who sends me an email so I set that boundary not because I don't want to interact with everyone who sends me Facebook messages but because I have to protect my time for the clients who pay me so I have you know multiple multiple clients on my caseload um, who are incredible people who I just adore working with and they can message me whenever they want and it's not actually through Facebook Messenger I have a special messenger just for my private clients and it's called Boxer and it's a walkie-talkie app where they can walkie-talkie me they can send me a text message they can send me files whatever it is they want and that's for my one-to-one -one private paying clients so Again, this is a boundary that I've set in my business to protect my time, to protect my client's time, because if I am hanging out in Facebook Messenger all day, responding to everyone's messages, my clients are going to not get much of my time. I'm going to be so mentally, emotionally, and just completely depleted um, of any brain space that I'm not going to even be able to show up and do these videos. So that's the whole thing. That's why I created the Confident Ladies Club for you to be able to go in here if you have questions, be able to ask questions to a lot of different people and um, get feedback from everyone. So that's the other thing. If someone were to type me a, a question in Facebook Messenger and I answer it, it's really doing a disservice because I guarantee that there are maybe 400 people in this group right now who could benefit from hearing that answer. So that's why every now and then I will go into Facebook Messenger and you know see a question and I say, you know what, that's a great question. Please go and ask it in the Confident Ladies Club and I will make sure that I return it so that everyone can see the answer and everyone can benefit from that answer. So that's what these Facebook groups are all about. It's to really you know, put information out there, put questions out there, and get a lot of responses from other people so that everyone can benefit. So I'm saying this because I really hope that any of you who have sent me messages are not offended if I didn't get back to you. Um, if it's something like that you really wanna work with me or um, you, know, you want me to be a part of like a summit or something, please, please, please just shoot me an email, okay? Again, I get back to my emails. Um, but Facebook Messenger is really a boundary that I've set in my business that I do not cross. So Joy says, hey Kate, love the way you've set up your boundaries. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm wondering um, if you guys who are live right now, if you can tell me some boundaries that you've set up in your business 
or boundaries that you really, really want to start setting up in your business. I would love to hear what you guys have to say and please feel free to ask me any questions right now about boundaries because um, I'd love to answer them. Any questions at all? I'm just going to wait a couple minutes. Um, but that's, that's pretty much all I have to say today. It's just you got to set your boundaries because if you don't, you are going to be so depleted of your energy. Danielle says such an important concept. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Danielle. I guarantee you will experience this now because you are a private practice therapist and you probably, you know, once you've had your business for a while, you probably will have tons of people from grad school um, coming out of the woodwork trying to pick your brain. So I would highly, highly suggest that you do something similar to what I did if you really want to protect your time. Joy says, I'm starting to create boundaries around Facebook Messenger and email because people just want to pick my brain. There's only so much I can do without them hiring me. Exactly. And here's the other thing, Joy. When people pick your brain on Messenger, it's actually doing a disservice to give them answers through Messenger because there's no way possible to really coach someone fully in like a one sentence answer. So you know, even in here, I feel at times like people ask questions and, you know, I have all of these ideas and all of this feedback that I could give, but honestly, it would take like at least 30 minutes to sit down one-on-one -on -one with them to give them this really good advice. So sometimes I don't really put much of a response because I don't want to put a response that's not true or not authentic or not something that's going to serve them. So a lot of the questions that we get are really things that need to be, you know, sat down and processed. They're not things that just take, you know, you can get a one word answer from. Um, Andy says, I provide limited communication with patients about clinical issues through email, only communication through text or emails about scheduling outside of therapy appointments. Yes, yes, yes. That's a really good boundary to set, Andrea, especially with private practice clients. Um, just saying, you know, this is a great question. Next time when we're in session, we'll talk about it. Because again, it's really hard for you to give them really good feedback in an email. Um, you know, the other thing is like people might take the way that you say something the wrong way because it's hard to figure out like how someone is responding through you to you through email or text message. And again, that's why I use Voxer with all of my um, one on one private clients because I love to be able to use the walkie talkie app and give them um, responses back with my voice, my tone, so they know like exactly how I'm feeling and how I'm responding to their question. Um, because if I were to sit there and just type a message back, which sometimes I do if it's like a quick question, um, you know, it could be helpful. But if it's something that's like a little deeper, it really needs to come from within and I really need to be able to just speak and use my words. So that's why I love using Voxer so much. Joy says, I agree, that's what I found too. I can't give my all as a coach in that way. Exactly, and that's all you have to say, Joy, is that, you know, this is a really good question. I have tons and tons of ideas and a lot of feedback to give you, but in order to give you the best feedback, it's gonna have to be in a one-on-one -on -one session um, because I really can't give all of that through a message right now. Um, and the other thing is, the great thing about your Facebook business page is you can actually set up, set up an automated response. Um, unfortunately, you can't do it through your private messenger, like your, face, um, your Facebook personal messenger. But business messenger, I have an automated response up. So it says, you know, it gives them my email address, it gives them my website, any questions, contact this person, they will help you. Um, but unfortunately, hopefully Facebook will come out with that, um, you know, idea soon. Like maybe they'll put that onto the, the personal messenger, but right now they don't have it. Um, and it's sort of a pain because it would be great to have an automated, you know, like a way message, like we used to have an instant messenger. So any ideas or other questions, ladies, let me know. Um, I'm gonna sign off in like a minute. I have some really fun group coaching calls today. I have my group mastermind call today. 
um, today in the Invisible to Impactful Group Coaching Program call, we are talking all mindset. Um, and we have so many good questions that have come up in the group, so I'm really excited to dive in and really answer them. Um, one big question that has come up is all about like partner mindset or, um, yeah, your partner mindset. So whoever your partner is in life, um, how to get them on board with what you're doing. This is something that comes up that's really, really hard for people. So I am so excited. Again, that's why I love group coaching too, because I can dive in and I can just like give all of these responses and all of this feedback um, without having to like sit there and type and think and like not be able to say things the way that I want to say them. So yes, so that's what we're doing in my group coaching program today and my mastermind program. We've got a lot of good stuff going on. Um, so again, please let me know if I can answer any questions for you in the group. That's the best place to ask questions. Um, everyone can jump in, give you more feedback. Again, I launched my six month coaching program, which I'm so, so excited about. I have two spots available um, for August, to start in August. So if you are interested, please make sure you fill out an application. I've been doing calls, um, interviewing people for this program. Again, it's a one-to-one -one, um, coaching program for six months. So all of the mindset and confidence and boundary and fear work, anything, you know, that falls under that realm, that's what we're, I'm there for, for six full months. Um, because, you know, in order to really break through to that next level in your business, you've got to have um, some support. You've got to have someone to really push you along the way. Because um, it's not easy to do it on your own. So, again, I've said this, if you want to make sure that you end 2016, and it sounds crazy talking about this already, but if you wanna make sure you end 2016 um, the best that you can with your all, you know, getting as many clients as you can, um, you know, creating as much as you can, you're gonna need support. So please feel free to contact me. I'd love to set up a call and tell you um, how I can help you with this program. And I guess that is it for today. So I hope you all have a great Wednesday and I will talk to you soon.